guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosie and this is my Rosie Life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, um, welcome back. So if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, please follow my handle up here at MyRosieLife19. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my block schedule system and what I do to keep myself organized while I am a full-time student. Uh, a mother of two, a wife, and everything that comes with that. So let's get to it. So if you guys are familiar with the block system, you basically break up your day into two to three hour increments and you follow a schedule that way. I, so I have my planner here. If you follow me for a minute, you know that I am a planner girl and I put everything in my planner. So just to get started, um, right now, I am, well right now it's summer, so um, I just finished a summer class. Uh, today is Sunday, I finished my summer class on Thursday. So I've still been in school even though it's summer. So I just kinda wanted to show you what my schedule looks like right now. Also what my schedule used to look like when I worked part time. And what it also looked like when um, when I had a baby. When my, when my first daughter was a baby, I was working full-time and going to college full-time and how I managed that. I start my day off really, really early. I wake up, um, I would say anywhere from five to six. So I have my early morning block that I call early morning and it's anywhere from five to seven. I give myself those two hours so that when I get up in the mornings, I have time to ground myself, wake up slowly, calmly, um, and do everything that I need to do. So during my morning, early morning schedule, I have my coffee, I go to my garden, I um, pray, I journal, I do all those things um, for me to get my day started off on the right, on the right foot basically. And then after that, my block from 7 to 11, that was for school. Like all I would do is solely focus on homework, reading, everything that comes with that. So that block is all school related reading my chapters doing my homeworks doing my assignments everything that comes with that and then right now that it's summer my girls are waking up really really late because i'm allowing them to go to bed super late which is completely completely different from what their normal schedule is during a normal school year but pretty much like with everybody else our whole schedule got changed with all this COVID stuff and everything getting shut down. So in order for them, in order for me to have that time, that uninterrupted seven to 11 time frame, I, I allow my girls to stay up late so that they can wake up late. So they're waking up um, pretty much anywhere between 10 and 11. And that gives me plenty of time to do my schoolwork and solely focus on that. Okay, so then once they get up, I have my next block, which is from 11 to 3. And that is so that I can feed them their late breakfast, their lunch, so that I can play with them, so that I can do all of the things. We even, um, in that block, we do our chores, um, our, I call them our home blessing, whatever is on the schedule for us to clean up that day or focus on, we do that. But really, mainly, that block is for me to focus um, solely on my kids, my girls. So after I've taken care of them, after I've done all that, then it's time for my next block, which is from three to five. And I call that my work block or my social block. And that is basically the block that I use to take care of the household stuff like paying bills or making phone calls or whatever but then once I get that done I work on my YouTube stuff or I work social media whatever it is that I need to do for this channel and that's what I use that time frame to do and I allow my girls to watch TV or whatever um, or I can give them like my daughter is easily entertained if I give her craft paper and scissors and glue she could be there for hours so um, they are entertaining themselves at this point after that block is over I have my family block which is from about five to nine and that is uh, around the time that my husband 
starts coming home for dinner or that my husband comes home for dinner and I have to get start getting dinner started and all that and then we have like our family time and that is basically it could be anything yeah we go outside we play or we do a little bit of gardening or board game or watch a movie whatever like whatever we want to do but that is completely focused on family time right at the end of, of that family block is when I start telling the girls like hey it's time to pick up after yourself and let's go take a shower and get ready for bed and all that even though they're not going to bed we still tell them to get ready as if they're going to bed so once I have like the family settled in by about 10 o'clock that is what I call me time I'll come in my room and I'll do basically whatever I want um, be online researching things I want to research or just watching Netflix if that's what I choose to do but that's pretty much how I wrap up my my day and then my husband comes to bed too and um, he he actually does the right now he's doing the tuck-in time with them since I'm with them all day he's doing the tuck-in time with them and that's basically how my schedule right now has been through this summer so when I'm working part-time my schedule my first early morning or my morning block is from 4 30 to 8 and that time i get up slowly like i said get myself going get my girls going feed them breakfast take them to school and then i'm pretty much heading to school at 8. Uh, a lot of the times i don't even start school till about 9 9 30 it just depends on how my schedule is but then from 9 to 3, that's my school schedule. I use that time, even whether I'm in class or not, to study at the library, do my homework, or whatever needs to be done. Then um, at 3 o'clock, from 3 to 5, I would go pick up my girls from school. I would spend some time with them. I would um, feed them and leave them for my husband. And my next block was from 5 to 9. That, that's the time that I would work. I would work 5 to 9. Okay, so that block is my work schedule. Obviously, I'm at work. I can't do anything else. I'm working. Then I would come home and my night block would be, you could pretty much say 9 to whenever. So I would, if the girls were awake, I would say hi, spend a little bit of time spend a little bit of time with them and then if let's just say I didn't get my all my work done or there was something pending or pressing I would just stay up till whenever like doing homework or or if I needed to do something personally that's the time that I would do it so when I work and when I'm working and going to school and doing all that weekends are pretty much my best friend I don't focus so much on the house and what needs to be done and clean we have our routines that kind of keep our house in order but weekends are my pretty much my best friend that's when we do like the deeper cleaning and the more like family time and all of that um, my weekends are sacred at this point uh, but that's how I was able to manage or that's how I've been able to manage doing everything. I know exactly what needs to be done. I know when I'm going to give who attention. Everything is pretty much organized. Now, whether everything goes perfect or not, um, it doesn't really matter because I have all this, all this stuff already set that I can just pick up where I left off um, later or the next day or whatever. But that's pretty much how I've been able to like stay organized on top of everything and not feel fully stressed out like before when I had no schedule and no order and all of that. Okay, so that's my schedule when I worked part time. And when I work part time, go to school full time and still have two very active kids in school. So I also, um, when my oldest daughter was a baby I worked full-time then and I also went to school full-time for uh, two semesters and I was able to handle it because again I was on a block schedule I knew exactly what was going on when when my daughter was little um, pretty much things were still this I mean pretty much I kind of handled it the same way I had my morning block which was from about 5 to 8 to get up to get myself ready slowly 
to get my daughter up, feed her breakfast, get her going. I would take her to daycare and I would go to work. My schedule at work was from Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So from 8 to 5, I was at work. I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't go anywhere. I would pack a lunch and I would use my lunch um, to run whatever errands I needed to run just to make things a little bit easier for me on the weekends. And so if, you know, if I could run an errand, then I would. Um, then after that, my next block was about from 5 to 8. When I got off, I would go pick her up or my husband would go pick her up. And then um, we would have like our family time. We would eat dinner together. We would um, catch up on the day, take our daughter a bath, like, you know, all of that stuff that you do on the evenings. And then um, my husband would take over at 8. So my next block was from 8 to 12 literally till midnight that's when i would start doing a lot of my homework my classes were online so i would start reading and doing my homework assignments from 8 to 12. um and then during this time period uh weekends were basically my best friend because that was where i could get like the bulk of my work done um because my husband could watch our little one i would wake up early and i would do as much as i could so that i could finish early yeah that was hard but it was definitely manageable because i organized my time well um and also i knew that it wasn't going to last forever forever it was just um a short amount of time that i was going to have that very hectic schedule um that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I just kind of wanted to show you what my schedules have been or how I've scheduled my time throughout the years in different times of my life, um, all while going to school and either working or not working and how, you know, if you manage your time well or if you schedule your time well, for the most part, it's doable. Of course, everything doesn't always run perfectly and you know you have hiccups here and there but for the most part um it definitely helps it it definitely helps um alleviate some of that mom guilt some of that stress so i hope this helps someone um i just wanted to kind of share what i've done throughout the years in case it might help you out maybe you can get an idea or two so if you guys like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notifications of when i upload new videos and again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one